Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. Today's video is definitely going to be quite interesting. Today we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB3558 sunglasses. And these are basically a cheap Chinese knockoff pair of the original Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. But Ray-Ban actually produces these. They actually put their name on this pair of sunglasses. This is not fake. I bought it directly from their website, but they are made in China and the build quality here is absolutely terrible. So let's go ahead and get into this review. So first off, these sunglasses have the exact same dimensions as the original made in Italy Ray-Ban Aviators. So they have 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge. And this is the you know terrible looking pair that are made in China, the RB. 35 58 sunglasses on face give you guys a quick little you know 180 of these frames so you can see how they look and now let me go ahead and pop on the original ray-ban aviator sunglasses so here we have the classic ray-ban aviator sunglasses and here we can see I actually think they look a lot better on face. The biggest difference between here, even though they actually do look very similar, is the bridge on the original, of course, looks original, and the bridge on the uh, Chinese pair uh, definitely looks a lot uh, cheaper, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know which pair you actually like better on face. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's different between the original Ray-Ban Aviator, the RB3025s, and these Chinese Ray-Ban Aviators, the RB3025. 3558 sunglasses. Well, first off, the original real ones are made in Italy, and the build quality here is very nice, and they also have all glass lenses. The weld points here and the solder marks are really, really nice. Everything just looks really good on the original Ray-Ban uh, Aviator sunglasses. However, on this Chinese pair of sunglasses, the welds don't look nearly as good, and the frames feel much more lightweight. They also have all polymer plastic lenses, so they really are very lightweight, which is actually very nice, but of course the lenses are going to scratch much easier and they're not going to last nearly as long as a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers. And again, the frames, you feel that? You hear that? That's just like a cheap plastic material. These sunglasses feel like dollar store sunglasses, which is very disappointing. Also, here we can see the all polymer lens actually protrudes from the frames and you don't have that on the original Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. And it looks absolutely terrible. I just can't believe this actually passed Ray-Ban's uh, quality control. And, and again, I'm calling this a fake pair of Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses, but again, it's real. I bought it directly from Ray-Ban's website, and this is a model number that Ray-Ban does produce. And the build quality here is absolutely terrible. Now, of course, one of the dead giveaways that is gonna be cheap is when it has this Ray-Ban sticker. That means that they're made in China and the build quality is most likely going to be worse there. Another thing that's very interesting with this pair of sunglasses, when I got them and I haven't touched them since I opened up the box, the nose rests are completely all bent out of whack. Now, of course, I can go ahead and adjust these to my nose and have them fit more properly, but these nose rests should be completely symmetrical right from the factory. They should not be all out of whack right out of the box that makes absolutely no sense like i said these frames are made in china and they just say ray-ban made in china they're in the inner right temple of sunglasses so ray-ban definitely isn't trying to hide it uh, again they just feel very very cheap and they're not very substantial at all and probably the worst part here is just the fact the polymer lens actually protrudes out of the frame it just looks absolutely horrible and i know it's not going to show up on a video quite as good as it does in real life but it's just so tacky and really really bad the hinges actually do feel pretty good i actually am impressed that the hinges feel pretty good with this pair of sunglasses and again the styling actually looks very similar to a pair of ray-ban original aviator sunglasses the biggest issue here is they are a little bit different and because of that if you wear this pair of sunglasses out people are going to look at it and think hmm that looks like a ray-ban aviator but something looks a little bit different here. And they're probably going to think it's fake. And then if you show it to them and it says made in China on them, they're like, oh, you bought a fake pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Well, no, I didn't. I just bought, you know, Ray-Ban's official fake version. So uh, the, the biggest issue here is the build quality is just very bad. Now, as of filming this video, Raven is actually selling these for only $80 directly on their website. They're actually doing a sale for 50% off the original price, which is $160. So clearly, Raven knows that people are not happy with these at all. So they have to heavily discount them to get people to buy them and probably not return them and feel cheated for the money. Now, for $80, 
there's still too much. That's still way too much money for this pair of sunglasses. They are just not worth that much money. This is worth maybe $40. Of course, they do have good quality lenses, which are gonna block 100% of UVA and UVB rays, which is extremely important to your eye health. So that is very important. It makes these pair of sunglasses a lot better than a pair of dollar store sunglasses, in my opinion. Uh, but again, I can never wear these sunglasses out because people are gonna run into me on the street and say, hey, shade review, and like, wait, are those fake? Those look fake. And then I have to explain to them that they're actually not. And they're just disgusting. I really, really, really do hate these sunglasses. And I hate that Ray-Ban has even decided to you know, actually sell these on their official website. It's absolutely disgusting. I am very, very disappointed in Ray-Ban. I honestly can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I've actually bought fake pairs of Ray-Ban sunglasses for my fake Ray-Ban, you know, aviator video versus the original ones that I bought from the sunglass side. And these feel worse than the fake pair that was um, actually made by a, a completely different company in China. It's just a shame here. And, um, you know, the only thing that's better than this than a pair of fake Ray-Ban sunglasses is the fact that the actual fake Ray-Ban sunglasses might not have UV protection where these are sold by Ray-Ban. So they are 100% going to have that UV protection, which is very important. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of ranty a review over this pair of sunglasses. As you can tell, I'm very passionate about sunglasses and the Ray-Ban name. And this pair of sunglasses really just, you know, lets me down a lot and you know, kind of cheapens the whole brand of Ray-Ban. And I think that's absolutely disgusting. And I'm hoping that after Ray-Ban blows all these out for 50% off for only $8 each, they're not going to produce this pair anymore. That's what I'm hoping that Ray-Ban does because this pair of sunglasses is a complete failure. It's absolutely terrible. And I feel horrible for anybody who actually spent their hard earned money on this pair of sunglasses. So I will not be leaving a link description down below to these. I will, however, though, be leaving a link description down below to the original all glass Italian made Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses. If you guys want to pick those up on Amazon, I will have a link in the description down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.